Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the film The Devil Bat, which is an American film produced in 1940, starring Bela Lugosi. Bela Lugosi plays the role of a physician and chemist who was very well liked in the city where he lived, and then he received a $5,000 bonus of his company, which is nothing compared to the fortune that the owners of the company made with his inventions and they never paid him properly. So this doctor, he became very embittered against his bosses and he started conducting experiments in his own house laboratory and the experiences consisted in creating giant bats that would be trained to attack everyone who was using, who had a specific scent on their bodies. So the doctor created something, a formula, and he said it was an aftershave lotion, and then he offered this as a text product for the members of the family of his bosses and then the family members of his bosses they started being attacked by those giant bats because they had the scent of that specific perfume on them which they thought it was an aftershave lotion but it actually wasn't and then they started being attacked by those giant bats. And of course, those murders created lots of commotion and horror in the city. Nobody could at first understand what was killing the people. Then they realized it was an animal. Then they realized it was a bat. Still, some people thought that such massive bats couldn't exist nowadays anymore. Maybe in the Stone Age, thousands and millions of years ago, but now, not nowadays. But then the giant bats were spotted. At first there was a fake picture of the bat, but then more people started seeing the real bat. But still there was a mystery where those bats came from. Then some reporters they were even dismissed by their own news agency but even though the newspaper dismissed the journalists because of the fake picture of the bat they still tried to investigate the case cooperating with the sheriff of the city and then they started connecting the dots they realized that everyone who was killed was wearing that product created by the doctor. Then they went to the house of the doctor, they questioned him. The doctor was very polite. He replied all questions because previously the reporters took the lotion to be analyzed by a chemist and the chemist said that one of the substances of the lotion was unknown. And then the reporters asked the doctor which substance was that and then he was said that it was a special scent that he found out in Tibet that it was used for rituals and all blah 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 and then the reporters didn't have anything against him because he was polite he replied all, all questions so there was nothing else to be done but then the murders were still happening and then one girl who belonged to who also belonged to the family of the boss of the doctor she was attacked by a giant bat too because the doctor exchanged the bottle of one of her perfumes to one and instead of uh, having perfume in that he put the liquid of his lotion inside the perfume bottle and the woman put it on thinking it was perfume but it wasn't she was attacked by the giant bat but she was indoors sleeping in her bed 
and the giant bat didn't get to kill her. Then, of course, more people started being suspicious of the doctor. Then they decided to ask the woman to pretend she was in huge pain, call the doctor to her house so he could stay in her house as long as possible while the reporters went to the doctor's house and tried to find any evidence there. And the doctor realized that uh, there was someone in his house when he arrived. And then one of the reporters told him that he thought that it was, he told to the doctor that he thought it was his lotion that was causing all this chaos and that uh, if he could go with him, the reporter said he would put on the lotion to try to catch the bat and kill the bat before the bat killed him and ask the doctor to go with him. The doctor said that he didn't see any connection between his lotion and the murders, but he followed him. So, okay, and when they were outdoors waiting for the giant bat, we could see that the doctor was a little bit afraid to be too close to the reporter, but then the reporter threw some lotion on the doctor. And then, of course, that the doctor would become a target of the bat too. Then the sheriff was around hiding in the garden. The giant bat arrived. He tried to attack the reporter. He tried to attack the woman of the boss family. However, the doctor, the reporter threw lots of lotion on the doctor. So he had lots of scent of it on him. So the bat attacked him violently because of the smell and he was killed by his own invention. And then it was when the cycle of murders was finally broken. The sheriff was there, the murder was murdered too, and then peace returned again. And it's interesting to see that the doctor, who was so evil, so vindictive, he was a doctor very well liked by everyone in the city. The typical situation of someone who is very nice and kind socially, but actually it's an evil person and hides this side from everyone else. A kind of doctor versus monster. And it's interesting, this hypocrisy, because in the beginning, no one could ever think that the doctor was involved in those murders, but actually he had a very perverse mind. He only thought about killing his bosses and their families to bring suffering to him. He thought he was so intelligent and such a brilliant scientist that no one else would understand his mind or his inventions. So he was too full of himself. And then we can see that nobody could see his real side at first. So for a very long time, he got to pretend to the entire city that he was a nice and kind man until the murders started happening. It's a nice film, it's a low budget film by, produced by a lesser known studio, but it has all the elements of horror, it has all the cliches and everything, and it's as entertaining as a high budget film, and I think you're going to like it very much. That's all for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you!